Hi, it's Mimi again from HeyMimi.com with yet another neat desk video. This one is a video I made a couple days after installing my neat software. I know I promised to show you the installation video. I do have that that I can upload, but it's really not very pretty. And um, it's really kind of embarrassing. It's not attractive to or pleasant to listen to me get really frustrated and exasperated. And so I'm reluctant to post it. Also, a couple of the things I ran into, it does look like Neat Desk may have either read my email or read a lot of people's complaints about problems finding the download because I think it is a little easier now than when I first installed. So what I'm showing you in this video is my thoughts on installation after I had successfully gotten it installed and I'm trying to save you the pain that I went through. It, like I say in another video, I think it's like childbirth because it's painful getting it installed, but you soon forget that trauma once you love your little darling because it really works great. That's my take on it. I know a lot of people may have another experience, and so I'm trying to help save you from that. <laughs> For starters, I want to show you that I'm using Windows 7 Home Premium. So if you have questions about installing on a Mac or on Windows 8, I'm not going to be able to answer those questions, but you may find some answers you're looking for in my videos. But I can't really tell you how to do anything on a Windows 8 or Mac because I don't have those and I'm not a tech expert. I'm just someone who, this stuff comes a little bit easier to me than most people I know. So I guess I'm somewhat tech savvy. So I think that helps me be able to explain things a little more in layman's terms or for the average Joe. This is my computer, it's Windows Home 7. It does have quite a bit of RAM, that's a 16 gig of RAM, which is a lot because I do video editing and it's 64-bit operating system, but I don't know if NEAT software is 32-bit or 64-bit. I don't know, but a 64-bit system is gonna run either one. Um, I just wanted to point this out. If you have Windows Vista or Windows XP, you may hear people criticize or say that it's no longer supported. Um, I don't really think that's entirely true. I think if you have Windows Vista or Windows XP, you're going to want to use the 5.4 disk that probably came with your software. And if you didn't get a disk with yours, then you can still go online and download the 5.4. But if you download 5.5, that is not going to work with Windows XP or Windows Vista. If you have Windows 7, you can follow along with what I did here. So let's go back in time to September 2014 when I first got my neat desk scanner and I installed from the 5.4 disk, which turned out to be disastrous. In this video, I'll show you how I deleted all of those files. And then I'll show you where I was able to find the correct 5.5 download on the neat.com website so I could get this up and running. One thing you may not be aware is causing problems with your installation is that you have to remember to turn off your firewall when you're installing the software. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. My antivirus software is AVG, and so you can either click it here, or a lot of times you'll find it down here. If you have McAfee or Norton or anything like that, you can right click it and open it. Just sometimes if you right click, you can do this, temporarily disable. You can tell it to disable until you restart because you will have to restart after installation. Or you can tell it five or 10 minutes. This is at least with AVG. So you could do that. Disable firewall protection. So you wanna do those. You can do it that way or you can do computer protected, enable. You can disable it like this. It's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna do that? And then you can say yes. So a lot of times, let's turn it back on and then go like this, okay? So after you successfully get this installed, make sure that you remember to turn your firewall back on and your antivirus back on. I keep trying to do a recording of this neat desk that I got last week and I do have mixed feelings about it. I really like the machine, the unit. Uh, scans everything like really smoothly. There's no issues with jamming or anything like that. It does a really good job. I want to put this out there because I want people to give it the product a chance before they get frustrated with it because there's some things you can jump, even I jump to the conclusion of that might not be the case. You know, I know that there's a lot of old reviews on this product 
and if you go to Amazon or YouTube or anything and you see some negative reviews about the software or the setup, well, the setup, maybe, <laughs> but the software, be sure and look at the date on those things because some of them are like 2008, 2009, 2010. And after seeing those and then using the software, I can tell you that the Neat Company has definitely listened to the input or feedback of its users because all of those issues seem to be obsolete to me. Okay, the installation is an issue. I suggest you don't use the disk if you have Windows 7 or 8. If you're using Windows XP or Windows Vista, then you want to stick with what's on the disk, which is 5.4. If your disk is something earlier than 5.4 point something, then go ahead and go to the website and download it. So let's go to products and services, solutions. Let's see if they have downloads, benefits, features, neat desk. I'm talking about neat desk. There's different things. There's neat connect, there's neat desk, there's neat receipts, neat cloud. Okay, so we're talking about neat desk, neat desktop software for PC or Mac. So keep in mind what you're downloading here. So I suggest if you've got Windows 7 or 8, don't install the disk because it's going to cause you a whole new set of headaches that'll eat up an hour of your time unnecessarily. You want to start fresh with no neat software on your computer because you haven't scanned anything yet. This will save you a boatload of heartache, okay? So you're going to come down here. Let's see if, if you do it from within the program, you'll also be tearing your hair out. So let's see, desktop software. Let's see if they're going to give us a link to it. Spending. Okay, so we clicked on it. I don't see an option here. So, you know, their website is a big, big problem. They, their website is really not so helpful. Okay, I clicked on downloading the software. I'm not seeing a link anywhere here. So, you know, you know, strike one on that. And let's see, included in any neat desk scanner. So let's see if they're going to give us downloads somewhere. Advantages, solutions, let's look there. Or we go to support maybe. Let's go to support, see if they got some software, PC software. So go to support, go to PC software. PC software, sync, PC software, how to install, restoring a backup. You don't want to restore or convert or um, import like a database. If you've never used it before, start fresh with the software you need. Installations, getting started, let's try that. Neat for Windows. You're gonna give us a download. Let's go to Frequently Asked Questions. How do I, I upgrade to Neat 5? So, let's try clicking here, see if it gets us where we need to be. If you click from within the program, if you've installed it and it says click here to update, you're gonna be on a wild goose chase. Okay, so what you want to do, this actually brought us a note, we don't want to watch a movie. A lot of these things that are like support videos just are a whole bunch of commercials, so that's strike two. The website is really not a big help to, they say that they have a support community, it's nowhere to be found. Okay, so please select your version. Here is what you want to do, and this is why I suggest that you do not load the software, because if you try to do this, Neatworks version 6.8 for higher or higher. I did that and it told me I already had Neat on my, you know, this didn't work. If you go to Neat Receipts, there's no 5.4 or 4 point anything. So it's not that. Where's the Neat Desk? You know, I'm trying to figure out, they're saying download this. Where is Neat 5? Where is Neat 5? It's not here. Okay, no. Please select your current version. You can go here. Let's uh, let's follow their watch the video. That doesn't help it. You can watch it. I didn't find it helpful. Identify your current software. Launch your neat software and go to help about neat. Now I think I have some video of this, but this is if you've already installed the disk. I feel sorry for you if you did, you poor sucker, but here's what you gotta do. You're gonna come over here. What they're telling you to do is go here to about neat to find out your current my current neat version is neat 5.5 is it neat is it called neat desk is it called neat connect is it called neat receipts is it called neat desktop what is it called uh neat receipts neat desk neat connect no it's just neat 5.5 okay so um i have some other video showing what if you went to this check for updates 
you'll regret it. It's going to send you for a bunch of stuff that you don't even, whoops, let's put this down. It's going to send you through a bunch of links that don't work. Okay, so we've identified what version we've got. We've got neat five, it, before it said 5.4. Okay, so where is that update? Is it this? No, I can tell you it's not because I tried that. It's none of these neat works. It's not neat receipts. So in the end, I went through and deleted every, there was like seven or eight neat files. And when I went into the windows, remove hardware or programs or something like that. I removed everything that said neat. Then I went to this. There's no neat software installed on my computer. That's what you want. You either want to start fresh and then click go. This is what you want here. Whether you've deleted everything, you've gotten all the neat stuff off of your, everything off of that disk, you got to remove it from your computer or you got to go fresh to here. So let's go through those steps again. You're going to come to neat.com. Then you're going to go to support because if you go through any of those other pages, you'll never find the software. Then go to PC software. Then go to frequently asked questions. Then go, how do I upgrade? Clicking here. Okay, that does get you there. You'll find if you click other stuff, no, we don't want to watch your commercial. It's not helpful. So we did this, it wasn't helpful. We did this, it wasn't helpful. It didn't tell us which version of software. It wasn't any of these. All it said was neat. 5.4. So why can't they update their website? They'd rather us call and sit on the phone on an 800 number for an hour. Why can't you just tell your webmaster to update your website? Okay, so then you want to go here. There's no neat software. Then click go. Then wait a few minutes. You'll see this. Um, there's no downloads for this session, but let's look at all downloads. You can see all the stuff I've downloaded. Okay, this is what you're trying to get. Neat 5.5 full. You don't want this neat upgrade no that doesn't work no 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 they don't work okay forget that you're just gonna have to delete whatever you install because then it's gonna say oh I need to read you have other neat software do you want to uninstall it then you'll say yes and then it'll fail when you try to install it because it'll say you already have need on your computer so don't do that go here go to control panel go to uninstall a program Come down here to N, and last time when I installed it from the disk, like they say, there was like seven or eight things here. Right now I've got the right stuff. I've got just the, just the driver I need, I've got the software I need, and the scanner driver. I don't have seven or eight things, and that's good. But if you haven't done the, I don't have anything on my computer yet, delete everything you've installed from that disk. Each one, one, and then you'll click up here, like if I go like this, then you'll click uninstall. Then you'll cut, you know, that takes a while. Then you'll click this, uninstall, this, uninstall, this, uninstall. This is the way I like to do it. There may be a way to do it from here. Let's see. All programs. Neat. Let's see. You could do this. I don't know. You could try that. And then check. You could use this neat uninstall and then come up here to um, programs, to control panel uninstall program after you've run that uninstall and make sure there's nothing here that says neat nothing under n okay that says neat and then also maybe check your desktop and delete that then before you install all of this oops where'd we go then we're here then click go then you'll wait a few minutes for it to download then you'll click on this button and you'll say run you'll double click that or click the neat full installation double click it or right click it or something and say um, run. Don't, do I want to save it or run it? I think you run it because it's already saved. Yeah, you want to run it because you've already saved it. You've downloaded it. Okay, then you'll have 5.5. That's the only way I can figure out to get it. I haven't found, I spent an hour trying to upgrade and good luck if you go, like let's just go in here. It's not gonna show. You'll see here where it says, oh, upgrade your computer. If you click these things, saying uh, go to just like if you go to ooh, community to ask other see how other people did things let's go to that oh there is no such thing <laughs> what a bummer it's nowhere there's nothing in support about a community it just sends you to a page to try to sell you something i guess which is weird because you already have this okay it'll either send you to the cloud to the neat cloud 
and you think that you've upgraded, or it'll send you to a page like this if you click on something within your NEAT program. So don't install the NEAT, NEAT 5.4 from your disk. Just install it fresh the way I just showed you, and then everything will be smooth sailing. It'll be the experience you should have had right from the start. Okay, so I'm talking to you from December 2014 again, and some of this process may have been remedied in the past three months. Maybe NEAT has listened to feedback, and some of those internal upgrade links will work like they're supposed to now. But if you followed NEAT installation and upgrade process, and you still find yourself without a working 5.5 software on your Windows 7 computer, then I suggest you follow the steps that I've shown here to delete everything that you've installed that has to do with NEAT and then go to the neat.com website and follow some of the paths that I've shown to track down a full fresh install of NEAT 5.5. Some of those links work better now, three months later. Here's one, download the latest version. This used to send you to the login screen, which just sent you straight to the cloud. It does look like they've fixed this because now when you click here, it really does open up the download for the full NEAT 5.5 full EXE. So that's an improvement and you might have an easier time than I did. But I wish you well because the software and the scanner itself really is well worth the time and trouble it takes to install and learn the software. I was pleasantly surprised. I did not expect to be as happy with it as I came to be. I have some other videos available. Some of them are a little repetitive and I don't know if I'll ever post that original installation because I'm not really sure it's helpful anymore. But I will be posting some actual scanner in use videos. And here are some links to the other videos I've made on this topic. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see what I'm up to next.